everyone. Um, it's uh, Miss Liz with a new journal, a garden journal. Well, garden journal, plant journal, whatever you want to call these. And this is the spine. has sun sheath cloth on it, coffee stained. And lots and lots of... Um, pages I have I, I might have like um, I don't remember if it was 80 pages or so and um, lots of um, here's some um, eyelids and, and some yarns and some um, sari lace all kinds of lace from um, M um, SM Tiffany Lane on Etsy and she also is on YouTube. I'm not sure if she's crafty soon. And so go into her shop and, um, and you'll see she sells all this stuff. Lots of goodies. And over here is um, my cover and the, the cover I made it look like leather and this is embossed. And I painted it and sprayed it and I um, put some of that, um, you know, like that goldish color over it. And I went over it and shined it up and stuff. So, and the most of the digitals are from um, Tracy Fox. And they are beautiful um, digitals, you can see. And here it says Blossom. It's layered. Layered. And everything is layered here also. <clears throat> Here's the pockets with her. So, um, Ticks are made out of her digitals cards. Here's another one. I have to distress this one. I don't think I did. I'm gonna distress this one. Leave it out to distress it. Have to do that. And uh, I don't know if, if this yeah, this is a pocket also. Let me see. That's where the pocket is. I thought the top was. Okay. <clears throat> and the next page. This is um craft paper up here. And here's a small pocket from Tim Holtz paper pads, and I embellished it with um, this little uh, flower, uh, sari lace, and one of us M. Tiffany Lane's um, fibers there. That has the uh, forgot sequence on it. And here's a small t uh, tag used for journaling. This one, um, I uh, stamped it, office tags, and here goes one of her tags, Garden from Tracy Fox. <coughs> she has some really nice digis. Yeah, I know she put more in her shop, and they're really nice. You should go there. I bought some more. And over here, I stencil all this. And um, here, just want to go the way down. I don't know why. So, so much in here. Here is a pocket. And this is a Tim Holtz card. For one of his, um, I forgot, but there's a lot of flowers, like a garden um, book. Let's see if I could get this in here because I'm using my phone. I ordered a new tripod that goes on the floor, so I'll be doing good videos soon. There'll be more videos. And here goes another stencil with butterfly, and I used um, vintage paper from Tim Holtz ink on this butterfly. Old paper, it's called. And here goes another small stencil in. This is my page. Um, 
I made this with tissue paper. And I just put this word in here. I'm ha I have to do some stamping. I haven't done any stamping, but I'm going to put this in my shop already. And this is um, vellum paper from one of Tim Hall's books. <clears throat> and this is boil flowers that I did on some of the pages. As you can see. From outside of my backyard, I just got some um, some of the these purple flowers. That's how they came out, and then here goes the stem and of um, the others. Let's see, I like. I, I like the texture and you know how um, it shapes it, and you you can't see it on here. Though. And some of them you can, and some you can't. This is fabric, vintage. Pocket with little tags that I just ripped it and distressed the edge. Here's another one from the Tim Holtz books, these two. And then this is um, one from um, Tracy Fox. I love that one. I put it on a uh, craft card. Tig, I mean. Lots of um, journaling tags in this book. <coughs> and also, this is a gloss and bag with a pocket. And we have this one in here. And this one's up here. And this lady is, you know, she's in a garden, so I put her in there. I think that looks nice. And her bird cage. Here's a nice big pocket I added for one of Tim Holtz pages. And then more of Tracy and my TX that I stamped. And this is Tracy from Tracy's Fox Digital. And I added this small card in there. Put it back in. And here we have a tag that I stamped. I did a little background on it. And on the back. I distressed and some bling here and Sari Lace from um, SM Tiffany Lane on Etsy because she sells supplies for uh, journals and books. <clears throat> Oops, it was my one of my tags right there. That's her thought. And I stamped this um, with this a dragonfly. There's lots of background there and, and, and distressing. And these are the um, flowers. Nursery and seed. And then on the back, I just did that flower. This is violets. Or something like that. V-I-O-L something. You can also journal on that so and then it has a lot of um trims on the top a lot of tag ties and lace and, and it really looks nice so this one here has a flower that i i made it flat i squished it and i added some lace on it and this little lace tie that i have and I like it because it gives color. And then I tied this uh, savvy ribbon. And I, this is an embossed, um, it's an embossed flower. You can't, it, you can't see the embossing on it on the, on this, um, on video. And I have bought this stamp, it embossed, this, um, the puncher which embosses. 
And here goes a nice, you can use this also as a bookmark. I figured that out because it looks nice like way. And I did distress this one. And this one is just glued on here. And so, and it looks like it's sewed around, is it? Yeah, it's sewed around. Let me see. Yes, I sewed that on my machine. And I'll put this back. And more of the boiling. It looks really, really nice. You can see the leaves on this one. And over here, the fawn. And over here goes the fawn. You can see. Once you, if you buy the book, you will see it much better. And this one's here. You can see this one here. And then I put a um, dragonfly. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a little bit more stamping to it because you know, I think it needs it. Yeah, it does. And there goes more of the boiled flowers. You can see the shape right there. It goes up. You see? <clears throat> and some of them stuck on it. <laughs> You can see here the shape, you see? It's so cool. And this is tissue from Tim Holtz. And I cut all that and distressed it. So then I added, this is from Victoria Designs postcard. And lavender, the lavender royal. And there's another um, card that I did stitch around it. Beautiful flowers. More of the boiling um, flowers and leaves here, see, the shape. And on this side, just you can see more of it, how it goes, how the flower goes, see. Then here is an envelope that I um, did a lot to this one. <clears throat> Put a little bit of color in it. I embellished it with this bugs in the middle. Uh, looks like a ladybug and then a little flower and a butterfly. A bird in a cage. I put some bling and I put these pearls here. And a lot of these supplies you could get from SM Tiffany Lane. And over here some beautiful flowers and um, cheesecloth. And SM Tiffany Lane sells cheesecloth. She dyes seven different colors. Looking for any color? Let her know. And then there's the fold here. It's so nice. And then I just, what I did, I just open it and slide it in. There we go. And then here's another card from Terry Fox. Another flowers. So that one, I just slide it in there with the clip. Um, I have to clip it on the envelope. So this is very busy because it has wax and then it has texture cream. And it's all over it. And, and, and over here, there's a gold texture cream, which is like a sand. Okay. Then on the other side of the envelope, I use it as a um, insert. And I added this um, dimensional flower for scrapbooking. And here goes the trim so you can look closer. And the sewing. It's not neat. Okay. And this is a little tab on the next page from Tim Holtz Paper Pants. <clears throat> it has the flowers on it. Isn't that nice? And here goes more of the boiling of the uh, fawns. Look at that. You see everything. Yeah. Look at the little flower. Oh, gosh. That is so cute. Look at the little stems there from the other, the other stuff. The fawn. And the colors of the purple flower, they really did spread out nice. I like that. And you could add stuff to this, too, and it will make it look really nice. 
And you will, will get extra cards with this for you to do whatever you want. Like an envelope with some st little scrapbook and stuff in it. Blossom. <clears throat> These are rosemary buds in a glossing bag. I stamped that there. It's a lot of writing space here. And a lot of in this journal. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous how the leaf, the way it was folded in there? But it's so cool. There goes some more leaves. There goes a fawn. Look at that. Can't see it. Alrighty. That's cool. Look at that one. Really see that one came out darker and so here's a belly band I made and um, a little flower made that one there cut it from Tim Holtz books and this one here is upside down here we go and then I have this one here <clears throat> and that has a picture on it, which is from another collage sheet. Oh, hers, I don't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. And then this is from Tim Holtz Paper Pads, and here's a card in there. And... Another one here. And this is just a graft of the um, garden. And then you have some of that boil of flower stuff on the top. And we go back in here. Everything goes back in nicely. And then I added this page here. I don't know if, where I got this from, I forgot. Something Bohemian. <clears throat> There's another card. It's all sold around it. It's not a sold in this book. <laughs> and this is an envelope. It's sold in here. And it's a pocket. Two pockets I made in there. Stamped up there. Sold this around it. And glued it on. And I added a card here. And this is like the gate of the garden. You see it? It's just nice. And you can just add another card to the other pocket here. And then the back has some. Um, this is the, the, the back here. And has cheesecloth behind it. And you can see the sewing. And in back of it is uh, Tim Holtz. I cut it out from the, his book. And glued it on there. Sold it. And I just put a clip on there. And so here is another card I made into a pocket with a um, this tag here. You can use it as a. Um, you can write on the back in it a bit. A journal card, and this is um, decoupage on it. All this is decoupage. See? And on the other side, this is the insert. Put there a little bit, and here we have the house. Isn't that nice? And then the back, I stamped a bird, and it's good for journaling. And this tag right here, I just um, stamped the word vintage, and I um, tied it to this card here that is on a um, index card. And I went around it with oxidized um, Tim Holtz ink. And this is a um, sari ribbon. It's 
you can see what I did with it. And the back is all distressed. You can write on it. And then um, on this page here, you just pull it out like this. And it's, you can use it for journaling. No pictures. And so the card, also you can use this card for a picture in the back too if you like. But the card, oops, goes over it. With the clip like that okay and it's a nice pocket and here is another it says water lily let's see and over here it says rose of sharon love it's from a book i found in the thrift shop it's a nice texture on it and I did this all around. I uh, stitched it and stamped it. You can see nursery and seed some seeds men. Nice. And this is an envelope that you just flip this up and you can either pull it down from under here or you can just pick it up from here. And look how nice that is. Whoa. That's nice and clear. Huh? Nice and clear from printing. Whoops. I'm sorry that the phone has to move like this because I'm, I have to hold it with my hand and put things back with one hand and tuck this in with one hand into here. Hold on. Oh gosh, I can't even get it in. I got it in, yay. All right. The next page has another envelope, which is done different, and it has a tuck in here, little pocket, where I sold all around this. And then it tucks back in. Let me tuck back in here, I'm sorry. Yeah, and there's a nice one there, blossom, blooming. It says blooming, and it has a doesn't have a pocket. Okay, and here's a nice pocket, and I added this to it. Come right on there. And here's the pocket, and I did this lavender stamp in here, music sheet from Tim Holtz, music tape, and here's the card on the other side. You can even write on that, so it's good. And it's dimensional pocket, you see the bottom part on there, give it a little color. <clears throat> it's this dress on the sides. Now this just is blank, and this is uh, inserting there with the that's it. There's the card. It's music background and beautiful bling. So, And this one, it, this ties to the fold I showed you before with the two pockets, the envelope. So this is the um, back of the cover, and that's how I did a dimensional here too when I, you know, put it down in here. And you can see the cheesecloth from the spine, very sturdy spine, spine with canvas, a hidden spine, and in the leather look. And I'm gonna put the metal metal on the edges okay so um thank you for watching and as you can see in the bottom i did some beads i'm going to show you what i did because i forgot to show you because i left some space in between because i knew my um this was going to get more more thick more fat <laughs> chunky so i put this lace ribbon here 
and to make it you know sturdy so I can just put the, the, the beads in there and I did the same thing here but I use uh, muslin fabric so it's, that's there to stay and this is there to stay okay so you can see and it's all um, this one is all coffee cane, cane. this one distressed with ink with um this is a nice color looks kind of rusty pumpkin pie from hero arts right so that's what i did there as you can see the book is beautiful um i i, I you know i think you will love this book and enjoy it and thank you for watching bye bye